Hey y'all, so we are back in business and remember, oh maybe y'all don't remember. So we have a 3D printer and we've had it for a few months and Terrell took it home so that he could learn how to work it. And guess what y'all? He actually learned how to do something that I don't know how to do. And so this is what he made. This is his very, very first project. And we are going to show you how he got this done. A few years ago when Patrice started crafting, she made this tip jar for our coffee shop. Well, I think it's time to replace it. I've asked her before, but she's being lazy. So y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and do it myself. So let's talk about designing this. I went to a website called Tinkercad. It is free, so I signed up and I went into their clip art. I found a cup. I found this cool cat that's waving and this sign. So I had to write in the word tips and then I just kind of like piece this all together. I'm going to get with Patrice to write coffee shop on the cup. And I think that will be the finished product. Let's go ahead and move into printing the cup. For those of you who've never seen a 3D printer, it starts printing from the bottom up. 3D printing is really cool for making custom projects. The only bad thing about 3D printing is it actually takes a long time to print. So this project here might have took like 12 hours to print out. Now there are faster 3D printers, but Patrice bought the cheapest one on Amazon. With that being said, the internet claims this is one of the best printers for beginners. So the tip cup is complete and I'm getting ready to paint it. I'm just pulling off these excess pieces of plastic. They're called supports. And yeah, so I have these paint markers they're acrylic, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint on the letters. One of the things I learned about 3D printing, if you can see kind of the lines in the cup, you can actually sand those away. At the time of actually making this, I did not know that. I learned that after the fact. So for my next project, I'll do some sanding. So I'm not really sure what happened, but I lost videos where I finished painting him. So this is the progress up to this point. Okay, y'all. So... We're on to part two of Terrell's 3D printed tip jar. And now I'm inside of Cricut Design Space because this is all that I have to do for this project. And so we are simply going to... Are recording? I'm recording, doing a screen recording right now. Okay. So we're just... <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> Who did you think I was talking to? Myself? <laughs> who did you think i was talking to all right so y'all i have we're just gonna put coffee shop coffee shop tips and we need to find a font so my favorite font and a nice bold font right now is going to be a font that i downloaded from creative fabrica called bold marker so i went to my system font to pull it up pull it up and here it is so we're just going to simply do this all right so i am going to ungroup it we're going to kind of put this at the top a little bit right here and that way it's a little bit closer because i have to kind of just make everything a lot smaller and so we're gonna go with about two and a half inches wide right nothing fancy all right so I'm going to weld all of that together I'm going to head down to combine click weld and that's pretty much it I mean I think the tip jar looks great the way that it does and we are just going to add coffee shop to it all right so let's get ready to send this to our cricket so we're using a filthy mat and the cricket maker <laughs> so we're all done and i am just going to read this and hopefully this weed's good. I used some vinyl from Heat Transfer Warehouse. 
So we have a little bit of this thing right there, but not too bad. It's weeding oh. really, really nicely. That wasn't a pretty easy weed. All right, so then I'm just gonna take out the insides. And next we are going to transfer this to the cup. All right. What? What you have to, you have to wait. Be patient. We need to get transfer tape. All right, so now we're just going to take our transfer tape and apply it on top. And I wanna get it to where there isn't any bubbles on there. And here you really should use like a squeegee to make sure that it adheres to the transfer tape. So give me a second. So let's go ahead and make sure that everything is nicely adhered. All right, and then I am just going to peel the backing away. All right. Now it's time for us to apply this to Terrell's cup. And he refused to sand it down or anything like that. So let's see if this even adheres to the 3D filament. I have carpal tunnel syndrome. Save it. So I'm just going to... So one of the things I want to add is Patrice wouldn't let me measure the cup. I told you to measure the cup. You refused to. So I had to guesstimate. So don't even try it. This is kind of slippery, but actually, let's see if it sticks onto there. Just using a squeegee to Get it down. All right, so this is our coffee shop tip jar. And I think this came out really, really good. It's very light, surprisingly. It's lighter than what I, I thought it would be. But it's pretty cool. This is Terrell's first decent 3D project.